wide flag lap in the Argent Mortgage Indy 300. Weldon on the inside. It's Canon on the outside. The final lap, they nearly touch in turn number one. They start to set up for turn number two. Weldon with a bit of an advantage. TK looking for a run to the high side. Mira going to try to take a peek to the high side. He'll settle back in behind Canon. Tony Canon has it by just an inch or two. Weldon comes storming back to the low side. Mike, who's going to win it? Canon, Weldon, and Mira. Mira wants to make it three wide. He can't do it. Here he comes to the low side. It's going to be Canon. Tony Canon on the high side wins as Vitor Mira dives below the wide line to make it three wide at the stripe. Tony Canon by 12 thousandths of a second has beaten Dan Weldon and Vitor Mira. What a final move to the checkers. The final lap of the move. Alan Sir Jr. is the leader. Jeff Ward runs second. And here comes Dari as he makes the move for third. They're in two. Fans are up. It is Alan Sir Jr. It's Jeff Ward. Goes to tail. Alan Sir Jr. dives down low. Jeff Ward, they're side by side into three. Mike King, who's going to win it? It's another Texas Motor Speedway finish as they come off of turn number four. Three cars in the battle for this one. It's going to be Alan Sir Jr. It is a photo finish. I think it's Jeff Ward. Jeff Ward is won by 11 thousandths of a second at Texas Motor Speedway. Jeff Ward by 11 thousandths of a second. An unbelievable finish here at Texas Motor Speedway. White flag is out. The entire crowd on its feet at Chicagoland Speedway. Sam Hornish Jr. is nosed in front by a half a car length, but Herta has the inside line off of turn number two. It will be Herta by half a car length. We'll stay side by side in the exit to the back straightaway. Sam Hornish Jr. trying to get the advantage on Herta. They are dead even. Now Hornish starts to pull in front. They set up for turn number four. Mike, who's going to win it? It's a near carbon copy of last year's race. Herta will go to the high side. They're three wide. second as Hornish, Dixon, and Herta go three wide at the line, touch wheels, and Hornish wins it by a nose. One more lap to go. Carpenter led that lap. Now watch Scott Dixon as he's going to take a look to the outside. Now Frank Keaty's out of out of push to pass as and Carpenter has one lap. Oh, that could be the difference. They go down the back stretch and race into turn number three. Will Ed Carpenter be able to get his first win in the eyes on IndyCar series? Here they come to the line. And it is Carpenter. Ed Carpenter wins. How about that? That was good stuff. He finally does it. Second place the last two years. And Ed Carpenter gets the victory. Oh, man, what a finish. Crowd comes to its feet in unison. White flag, white flag, one to go, one to go, all over your butt. Stay tight, stay tight. Vitor Mira is now going to make it a three-car, four-car race is sharp. Dives to the inside. Hornish and Elio Castroneves side by side off a two. Sam with a little bit of a run down the back straightaway. Pulls up even with Castroneves. Scott Sharp gets in front of Mira. He's in the lead for third now. Hornish, Mira, another photo finish to wrap up the season in the go. early racing league. Here we come once again. It's oh. going to be the line. Oh. The winner's going to be Sam Hornish Jr. by 96 tenths oh, no of a way. second. Sam Hornish Jr. has won for the fifth time this season, and he is the 2002 Indy Racing League champion. This is going to get really, really close. It's, these guys are White almost flag. wrecking last lap. One and a half miles to go. Hinchcliffe is still in front. Ray Hall behind him, edging just in front of Kanan. Here's Pagano. Those four on the lead lap racing for the win. Ray Hall down to the bottom. Ray Hall to the front around. Graham Ray Hall has taken the lead on the final lap. Can Hinchcliffe battle back? Canon still in the mix. Ray Hall and Hinchcliffe to the line. Graham oh. Ray Hall has won at Texas Motor Speedway on the last lap pass of James Hinchcliffe. Graham Ray Hall started to celebrate, but Hinchcliffe was right there. Eight thousandths of a second. I felt like Graham yeah. had his hand up a little too early, but he just held on. He what a finish. Flag. One more tour of the one and a half miles at Chicagoland Speedway in Briscoe leads by a 
foot or so. But now what Briscoe wants to do, he wants to maintain that position on the high side and hopefully get a run off of four. And he's getting help from Marias. Mario Marias comes back. Jimmy Vassar said the car wasn't as fast, but now it's fast. He's helping him. And he's got momentum. Not enough to get up on that high Meanwhile, side. Meanwhile, they're four wide behind. Here comes the win, and who is it going to be? Look at that, Briscoe. Briscoe has the advantage, and he gets the win. Oh, man. Briscoe. <laughs> back from the frightening accident in 2005, but he's put all that behind him now as he records the victory. The inside, Vitor Mira on the outside. It's a dead heat across the line. Vitor Mira by just a nose. Mark James off of turn number one. Tony Kanaan really pushes the button, trying to force the issue now. He'll pull up to the low side. Buddy Rice runs in front. He has Vitor Mira by a nose at the midway point. Mira comes storming back. They set up for turn number three. Still side by side, get the camera. For a photo finish, Mike King, who's gonna win it? Vitor Mira on the outside, Buddy Rice on the inside. Mira looking for his first career win. Who's gonna get it at the line? It's gonna be Buddy Rice. Yeah. Buddy Rice by 51 10 thousandths of a second has beaten Vitor Mira. Mark Jane's in a thriller at Kansas Speedway. Buddy Rice has won for the second time this year. They're side by side. Stick with it. Stick with it. Bring it home. Dixon on the low side, Kestrin Evans on the high side. Side by side as they head to the back straight. Can Elio get a push from Ryan Briscoe? Briscoe tucked right up behind him, literally trying to shove Elio into victory lane. For the final time, they're at a turn number four. Dixon on the inside, Elio on the outside, his teammate right behind him. Here they come to the line, it's going to be Dixon, is it? Dixon is going to win it by one thousandth of a second. Hey champ, how's it feel? You the man, you the man! Oh, but that's the story of our season, bud. P2, P2. Great job, great job. And oh my goodness. We're looking, at the, we're, looking at the, we're looking at the replay. Let's hold off for a second because the replay, Davey, shows that Elio Clearly. knows and beat him across the line. This is be overturned. together and separated by less than a quarter of a second in turn number one. Unser and Horn is separated by less than a thousandth of a second off of turn number two. Bill Unser Jr. with a bit of an advantage at the exit of turn number two. Fans on the feet, the back straightaway caught with their feet. Sam Hornish Jr. pulls out in front. Mike Lazier goes to the high side, get the cameras out for a photo oh, finish. Buddy Lazier trying to make it three wide out. Lazier Jr. Sam Hornish oh. side by side. Oh. Hornish is going to win it. Sam so. Hornish Jr. by 24. <laughs> of a second, an amazing finish.